This beautiful rural area between Mount Kilimanjaro and the Serengeti is the traditional home of the Maasai. Most people in these remote villages live as herders and small-scale farmers and earn less than one dollar a day. Lack of safe water, sanitation, and electricity are an obstacle to development. The community depends entirely on rain for drinking, sanitation, and agriculture. Some days you can see many, many cows actually inside, inside this water and they're trying to take this water home and use it for sanitary purposes and so that's a big, one of the big problems that we have in the village here. Lack of safe water undermines health and productivity traps vulnerable households in the cycle of poverty. Women and girls spend hours collecting water for their families. Mama, what they're saying, they're saying they're using this water for cooking, drinking, washing their clothes. So it takes them five hours to get one bucket of water. Lack of electricity and fuel place an additional burden on women and girls and impede development of advanced educational, healthcare, and business facilities. Most of the families here can't afford to send their children to boarding schools, and until 2008, there were no secondary schools in the village. IUFT worked with the local community to build our Kiswa Secondary School in Lashina to provide education within the village. Our Kiswa students are able to live at home and take an active role in family life, local culture, and community development. Education empowers these students to create homegrown solutions to improve their community and break the cycle of extreme poverty. IEFT partners with Engineers Without Borders to educate our Case West students about water and discuss water related problems in the In the community, there is no educated people, and they have a problem of water, electricity. Uh, almost of people in my village, they don't have education, so they need to have education. Also, uh, a big problem is maybe water, because uh, in our community there is no water. From my home, we get we get. Uh, water from very far, like 10 kilometers. EWB Portland designed a rainwater harvesting system for Orkies It based the construction of the ferrous cement tanks with campus expansion.
so excited and so lucky to have this this engineers who come to help us. Thank you very much. The Orkiswa campus grew in 2010 and more roof space became available for harvesting rainwater. More students were enrolled. And then a smile. No, you gotta move your hand, Bradley. EWB returned to Tanzania in 2010 to build a second rainwater harvesting tank. EWB engineers designed a solar energy system to power classrooms, staff offices, and future computer and science laboratories.
where does electricity come from? It is come from the sun. How does it come from the sun? Solar panels. I have an idea. 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 We want electricity. That's why EWB can hear. We are getting electricity in two classrooms. We are getting electricity in the big science lab. We are getting electricity in staff house. Wow! wow. Good, Good idea! idea. Thank, Thank you, EWB. EWB. So I study and be an engineer, electricity, electrical and engineer. Our case West students are anxiously awaiting the completion of a new computer lab. Hands-on computer training will provide our East West students with the skills they'll need to be successful in a modern world. <laughs> 